The future is uncertain for some Rogue River rafting outfitters who depend on summer tourism. It's day nine that we've been closed now that we can't operate, so it's an absolute nightmare what's happened to us. The fires in the area starting up at the worst possible time and shutting down portions of the Rogue River. The two biggest weeks, the most revenue that my company takes in is right there at August 1st through um, basically August uh, 12th this Monday. Now the owner of Rogue Wilderness Adventures says it's costing him $10,000 a day, all of it in refunds. This is the year we were coming back, this is the year we were actually putting money back in the bank and to have now that shut down, it's, it's putting us down into a, a, a death spiral to be honest with you. He says it's become so bad. For my wife and I, I mean the only choice we have is, is to tap into personal retirement um, to, to, to pay the bills. And today, the Josephine County Commissioners called an emergency meeting, trying to look at ways to help outfitters. We're going to uh, enter into a pretty robust dialogue with the governor's office as far as what the state can and probably should do. Meantime, Bride Niva says the Rogue River is just as important as any city. It's an economic engine with about 1,000 jobs connected to it. That's why he's hoping officials can give him and those in his industry some help and fast. In Grants Pass, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.